الرِّجَالُ قَوَامُونَ عَلَى النِّسَاء Men are caretakers over women. The word قَوَام has several meanings. And the first of its meanings, قَوْمَةُ الْإِنسَانِ is حُسْنُ طُولِهِ أَوْ ثَبَاتُهُ Like the word قَوَام means they are a source of stability for women. That's one of its first meanings. That men provide stability for women. Men are a way by which they are protected. Men are protected not just physically or financially, but also emotionally protected. So they are a place of security for them. And then, قَامَ يَفْعَلُ كَذَا When somebody is committed to doing something, then the verb qama is used. When they've made up their mind and they're going to do something. Meaning men are committed to the care of women. Men are charged with the responsibility to protect and care for women. In the use of this word, it's remarkable that this word, we have to understand that it's sacred. Because from the same letters, qaf, waw, and meme, actually one of the other names of Allah derived from this word is Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyul qayyum. And Allah describes Himself in the Qur'an as qa'iman bil qist, which is from the same origin. So Allah has used a word for men, it has some of the attributes that Allah uses for Himself. So we have to understand what that means. When Allah calls Himself Al-Qayyum, يعني تدبير أمر خلقه He's the one who plans things out and lays out an entire sequence of events for His creation وَإِنْشَائِهِمْ وَرِزْقِهِمْ and to ensure that they're growing and to ensure that they're provided for. Meaning when men become qawwam, they're doing their very best to have an actual plan for the women in their, in their wing, in their households. Another place in the Qur'an, Allah describes married men as muhsinin with a sad, not with a seen, with a sad, muhsinin. That's actually the same surah. And that actually means to bring women inside of a fort. A fort is a symbol of protection, isn't it? Once you get married, she's entered your fort. She's protected from all sides. She's protected from everything else. And a fort is self-sustained. The food is provided for, protection is provided for, shelter is provided for, everything's taken care of. And that's the idea of a muhsin. And a woman, interestingly enough, are described as muhsanat, women that are inside of the forts. Meaning they don't like to go out of the fort too. They, they want to stay within that fort. And they're described as someone who accepts that role that the husband is playing. In any case, Allah then says, بِمَا فَضَّلَ اللَّهُ بَعْضَهُمْ عَلَى بَعْضٍ And this responsibility of being in charge of the care and the needs and the protection for women, this responsibility comes on account of the fact that Allah decided that some will have preference over others. Now this is important language. Allah didn't say, بِمَا فَضَّ اللَّهُمُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِنَّ He said, بِمَا فَضَّ اللَّهُ بَعْضَهُمْ عَلَى بَعْضُ Because Allah has given some preference over others. You know what that means? That means in some things, men have a preference. Allah has given them an advantage over women. And in other things, Allah has given women an advantage over men. Men have to take certain responsibilities. If they're going to be the caretaker or the provider and the protector and all of those responsibilities, that's actually a privilege Allah has handed over to women. You're not responsible for any of those things.